some mushrooms and throw some hoop on and make that bridge alone. But uh, that's another story. That's another story. But, uh, you know, I don't promote that. But, you know, whoever does, more power to you. Anyway, well, it's all. I'm so glad to be here. I came here from Little Rock today. And, uh, you know, man, it's, it's really, really hot outside. It's like a heat wave. You know, I, I used to live in New Jersey. I just got back a couple weeks ago. And it's just a heat wave, man. It just, it just doesn't stop. You know, I almost had to you stream my performance up here because it was so hot from my couch. Because I don't like leaving my house when it's hot. I'm telling y'all right now. So, but, you know, um, speaking of, you know, social networking, you, anybody heard this Google Plus? The Google Plus that came out? Yes. Yeah, Google Plus. All right, it's supposed to be, like, the new competitor to Facebook. Now, I've been on the Google Plus. I got an exclusive invite a couple weeks ago. But well, basically, it's like a stripped-down version of Facebook. I don't know why they call it Google Plus. It really should call it Google Mics because it's really not. It's really true. It's like a Kim Kardashian. You don't want to see her dressed up in a bunch of, you know, a church dress or a business suit on a business suit. You want to see her on the beach in a bikini and, a, and a, with a G-string on, Ray J and sex tape. That's the Kim Kardashian you want to see because you want to see all the assets. I'm telling you right now. But anyway, speaking of hot, she's hot, it's hot outside. You know, you got people outside on the side of the street trying to sell you water bottles. You know, it ain't no Ozark or no Poland Springs. That's some little tap water got from the uh, uh, River Market or something like that. They, they ain't worried about that. They got these guys selling these little fans that spray water on you and stuff. But it's so humid, it only makes it more hot. So it doesn't make any sense. So, you know, me, I come up with a solution. You know, as a black man, you know, Obama got elected president, so I feel like I need to be more of a civil servant. And so as being more, I think I got the problem, I'm solve the problem of the heat for everybody, you know, to cool everybody off. And the solution is, I know you wonder, I told you your seats. <laughs> water balloons, that's right, you never know where I'll be. I'll be right here, TV, watching, pow, pow, what you got, what you got? <laughs> you never know where I come from, you know? I, I'm not just knocking people out, they feel like, oh man, what are you doing for? I'm like, hey, hey, back to your service, back to your yeah, back to your yeah. <laughs> So uh, anyway, um, yeah, you know, it, you know, times are getting hard, man. It's hot outside, a lot of people are unemployed. And it's not only hard for us, it's also hard for the celebrities as well. You know, I mean, you heard Nick Cage foreclosing all his houses. Wesley Snipes had to go to jail because he didn't pay his taxes. And the, and, the, and the worst of them all, I think this has got to be the worst of them. Lindsay Lohan cannot afford rehab. I have a problem with that, I just don't understand that. But you know, celebrities, they always have the last resort. They always got something in their back pocket. And that one thing is porn, specifically sex tapes. And so I heard Lindsay Lohan and Lawrence Fishburne's daughter, Chippy D, who does porn as well, are going to have a girl on girl. Now, y'all heard of the Matrix, Matrix Reloaded, and Matrix Revolution. They come out with Matrix Rehabilitation. And I heard R. Kelly's going to direct. That's going to be one hell of a holy show, I'll tell you that. So I'm looking forward to it. So, all the kids, so what we learned today? If you got KY in a dream, you too have more Twitter followers than Kim Kardashian. So, uh, <laughs> speaking of the Kardashians, I know I'm talking about them a lot, but you know, those assets, they're mesmerizing. But anyway, you know, have you ever noticed that, you know, the Kardashians are like the Adams family? Think about it. Kim Kardashian's like Morticia. She's been overspread with black for as long as we can remember. Then you got <laughs> Chloe. Chloe looks like Lurch. And you never know what they both do. They just kind of just stand around and kind of do stuff. And then you got, you know, that's a, like a Courtney. And Courtney's like cousin Kim. She's short with long hair. You never understand what she's really saying at, at all. You really don't know what's going on. But anyway, you know, it's hard for us too now, though. Because I think that they're trendy, you know? So I think the new trend now is, you know, being broke. And you all heard these terms about, you know, first of all, I'm being frugal. Basically, you ain't got no money in the bank account. Or, you know, they got the phrase, you know, I'm being, you know, vintage, my clothes are retro. So basically, what you're saying is you max out your credit cards, and you know, them go to the mall because they have your face. Uh, Planted on the back of the wall for writing hot checks. So, you know, <laughs> so that's basically what you got. And then I think lastly, the last one I heard that I don't like at all is a staycation. You know, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to stay in the city. I've been for 5, 10, 15 years and see what's new is happening on the city. Ain't nothing changed in Little Rock or Hot Springs except for the price of the crispy chicken nuggets at Wendy's 99 cent value. Maybe. I'll tell you that right now. So, anyway, um, but you know, you know, you know it's, it's interesting though, you know, because um, you know when people say stuff, you know, that kind of catches you off guard, and you don't really know have anything nice to say, so you just say, you know, that's interesting. Like your friend will be like, you want to go out, but she she has no money. She's like, you know, I don't have any money in my bank account, but if I swipe this credit on my debit card, maybe it won't process for Tuesday when I get paid again. You know, some crazy stuff like that. You know, and you back your head and be like. 
is she really serious right now? You just say, it's interesting. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway, my cousin, you know, she's six years old, and uh, when she was in school, the teacher asked her, you know, what do you say when somebody does something nice for you? And she's like, ooh, 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 I don't know, please, please, please. And so the teacher calls her and she says, are you my daddy? And so, <laughs> and, so she, and so the teacher's like, oh my God, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this poor child. So she said, you know, my cousin, I'm not gonna say anything, but she said, come see me after class. And so you know, in kindergarten, they pin you these notes. And so she pinned her a note on, onto, her, onto her shirt. And she went home to her mother, and her mother opened up the thing, and y'all don't guess what it was. It was a McDonald's job application with a post-it note that said, I think she should get a head start before she drops out. At least she'll have a few years of work experience. But yes, I know the daytime shit. <laughs> true story. True story. <laughs> but anyway, um, keeping it moving, man. You know, I used to live in New York, you know, home of you know, the Yankees. I just got to watching the Yankee game of oh, playing the Rays. And you know, you know, Derek Jeter, you know, he, he got to 3,000. I'm not talking about the number of hot celebrity chicks he's gonna bang out the ballpark. I'm just talking about the number of hits he is in the field. So, you know, and I got to work on a stock exchange, and you know, I, you know, buying and selling, I used to work on an exchange. So, you know, the only other profession, profession speaking of the Yankees, is that use hand signals is baseball. So I have, you know, not only that, you know, both, both professors, they make millions of dollars. Um, they hire prostitutes and strippers from time to time for their fantasies or whatever. They are also, you know, make last minute trades and cruise productivity. And they also uh, use uh, performance enhancing drugs to increase their performance. So, but I think, I think I'm gonna flip that thing on and say, what if the new age drug dealing was like baseball signals? Think about it. You know, you got, you got, you got one of these right here. You're like, that means I need to slam a little meth. And then you got one of these. I need a little bit of blow. And then, and then you got one of these. Real small for a dime bag. A little bigger for a nickel bag. And so you see people down the street going like this. <laughs> and, then, and then you see a drug dealer like, I expect you, got you, got you. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so it's, it's, it's crazy. But I think that's where it's definitely going. That's where the new age drug dealing is going. But y'all heard about Casey Anthony. She got off. She got out of jail. But you know, I don't, yeah, yeah, we know, we know. I read about it too. So, but I think this is what I learned from it. If you are a white woman with pale skin, long dark hair, and a pointy nose, you too can get away with harming children. And I'm gonna tell you why. Michael Jackson set the precedent. <laughs> so anyway, but you can long wait for next. I'm waiting to see, you know, a 2020 special of Angelina Jolie. Organized an underground international fight club with like a thousand kids with Brad Pitt giving commentary. That's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for the She's the next one. You're gonna see it on Twitch when you heard it here first. But anyway, last thing, you know, I'm gonna leave y'all with is you know, sometimes you know I go out, you know, speaking of you know, Tyler Dirty and Fight Club, you know, when I go to the after hour spot, you know, I see a little lady from afar, and when you get a little close, you be like, ooh, you know, she don't really look as good as did from as a from afar. So, you know, I, I got to the possible where I don't use my real name, but not only do I not use my real name. I use a celebrity's name. So I'm black, so I use Denzel. So one time, I was in a, in a, in a club in a bar, and I walked to this girl, and you know, she, I had to go there, ooh, I'm an atheist. But I had to get into the conversation because I came up to her. She'll say, hey, what's your name? I said, Denzel. She's like, Denzel, what's your name? She was like, all right, cool. Well, you know, I talked to her, and you know, I can't let her know my real name. She called me out in public, but see, that bit me in the ass. So one day I'm around the bar, just hanging out, doing my thing with my friends. And then she's like, across the mall, I'm like, Denzel, So I ran out. Now that's interesting. Thank y'all for this loss. That's my time. I love y'all.